Hi, this is Anika Shivani Gupta at the most prestigious event, Anicon 2022 in the city of Joy, Kolkata. And here with me, I have. Uh, I'm Dr. Tathagato Dotto. I have just uh, I am uh, just passed MCS Neurosurgery from uh, Bangalore Institute of Neurosciences, SSK, my PhD in Mia, Kolkata. So, sir, here at IPCA, we are creating awareness about wedding over epilepsy. So, sir, what is your take on epilepsy? Uh, my first take on epilepsy will be it is diagnosis. How, uh, when, and how to diagnose epilepsy? In our state, as I am sure in many other states of India, in only our developed countries, epilepsy is not recognized by what it is. It's a very uh, delicate disease and it is to be recognized by some uh, registered medical practitioner or some with training. In many cases, it has been uh, diagnosed as something else like uh, Maya, Doya, Bengali. So you have to first diagnosis is the vital most important thing. So sir says that uh, diagnosis is one first step, right. And sir, and how far do you think that the unawareness is one of the causes of growing epilepsy in India? Uh, I, in my opinion, unawareness or uh, if I am better to say uh, misinterpretation or something else like that is one of the most important causes of the growing condition, growing population of the epilepsy patients. Uh, in most of the cases, uh, the epilepsy is not diagnosed that it is as epilepsy as it is, it can be present in various forms. It can present even, even without the tonic-clonic general, what is the public thing that the tonic-clonic seizures. There may be absent seizures also where there is patient just stares at something and does not, does nothing. So unawareness is very vitally important. Right, sir. So, and I would like to know from you that is there is anything specific the patients who are dealing with uh, epilepsy at the moment should what they should eat and what they should not eat during the time uh, when they got to know that uh, I, I am suffering from epilepsy by any chance and then is there is anything specific which I should avoid completely and I should you know start consuming that product so that I can just overcome that no I don't think there is any specific product that one should avoid uh, any food product if you are telling about food I don't think there is nothing anything specific food because uh, there is no such study that any food, specific food, there is uh, promotes epilepsy or uh, there is caesar predilection for any food, I don't think so. So patient can take any food as he wants, but there are other things which he must take into account, be, be safe about. Such as uh, in India, it is uh, actually considered illegal to drive a car if you have epilepsy. So one should also keep in mind. Right, as rightly said by sir, you should be very, very responsible if you're suffering with epilepsy. You should not drive at all. Right. So, sir, one message which you want to give to all the patients who are suffering with epilepsy? Uh, one message, one most important message as I have treated patients in, uh, in our ward and OPD, uh, one most important message is that don't miss the dose of medication. Yes, most of the times I have seen that patient has missed a dose, a few doses, thinking that no, I have not had any seizures for the first few months, a few days, or first few years also, and I will stop it. Don't stop unless you are prescribed to do so. Because most of the times it happens the prescribed patient has missed the dose and there is a recurrent breakthrough seizures. Right, as the doctor sub says that you should not at all miss your medicines by any chance if you're suffering with epilepsy because that this can create more problems if you stop taking medicines. So, sir, thank you so much for joining IPCA and the cause of winning over epilepsy. Thank you so much. It was lovely having you here.